A second class lever always has the load between the fulcrum and the effort. And so I have again a 20 Newton load here and I'll attach my strain scale to that and the distance of the load to the fulcrum is 15 centimeters. The distance of the effort to the fulcrum is 30 centimeters. And the effort that I require then to support this 20 Newton load or weight is 10 Newtons. So this is a second class lever. And again, the students can move the load in different positions and the effort in different positions and make the appropriate measurements. For a second class lever, the effort is always less than the load because the load is between the effort and the fulcrum. So the effort that I require to raise a certain load is always less.